commercial brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, building a better way to see the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, your hosts for this morning, the Bee Gees. And welcome to the Midnight Special. It's great to be back here again. Fantastic. Oh my God. Excuse me. We've got a special treat for you this morning. Very special treat. We'd like to introduce to you on television for the very first time. Thank you. For the very first time, Morris and his famous dummy. <laughs> Morris's famous dummy. Morris. You're crazy, man. Morris is famous, Dummy, Donny. <laughs> Take it, Donny. Remember, a day without Donny. A <laughs> day without Donny is a day without sunshine. Yeah, are you satisfied? You can you... Go. <laughs> Thank you, children. <laughs> we have a great show for you this morning, and Donny's here to tell you all about it. Uh, who's joining us today, Donny? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> The Steve Miller Band and Maxine Weldon. And who else, Donny? <laughs> That's right! Jimmy Spearis and the Mule Deer and Moon Dog Medicine Show. And who else, Donny? Neil, Neil. 
Neil Diamond? You're kidding. No! Nah. No, nah. that's right, he isn't. Oh! Nah. <laughs> anyway, uh, John Kay, he said, actually. And <clears throat> here he is, our first guest, Wilson Pickett. Gentlemen, Wilson Pickett. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, you fellas. Uh, you want me to do it? <laughs> How would you like to introduce our next guest? Uh, please, please, only please, if they please, like please, the blues. Please. But do you do, do you guys like the blues? Oh. I mean, guys like T-Bone Walker, oh, Muddy Waters, so Chuck Berry, Woo! and Johnny Lee Hooker. Woo! Hang it down. Ah, but what about Paul McCartney? Does Paul McCartney sing the blues, baby? No, damn it, man, but he's British. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on, then. Introduce him. <laughs> but right now, let's listen to the Steve Miller band. <laughs> Thank you. We'd like to do a tune called Living in the USA. Dedicated to the president.
hey, hey, what'd you say? I won't pay, red or play, it's my freedom, I'm gonna be free, y'all. Some years back, one of the great rock groups of all time was Steppenwolf. The lead singer of that group, John Kay, went on his own and formed his own group and once again is producing hit records. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce John Kay. Yes, I 
Thank you, everybody. We would like to introduce to you at home and to our studio audience a young man who is making his first appearance on a major show. He is a gifted writer, and when you hear him performing this morning, you will never know why everyone... You will, well, you'll all know why everyone is so excited about him. So could we have... So... Could we... Could we please have a warm welcome for Mr. Jimmy Spears? Just to sing the way he did He'd serenade the wayward girls Beneath the moon and the stars Sneak down by the water hole Smoking one of dad's cigars The girls were wild about him Yes, and she'd even flipped her lid My brother was a thunderbolt The original Tap dancing kid. He said he'd blaze a trail around the sun, and no one was gonna hold him back. He'd shoot the rapids on the mighty river, yes, and he'd howl like Wolfman Jack. They gave our boy the glad hand. They say, son, what you going to do? Yes, I'm going to roam my happy hunting grounds in my funky pair of candy shoes. The girls were wild about him. Yes, that Ginny flipped her lid. Original tap dancing kid. Think of him. He says, Listen to me, brother. Is there hope for a native son? Yes. Well, don't expect no fanfare, kid. They only give it to you when you're young. The girls were wild about him. Yes, that Jenny even flipped her lid. My brother was a thunderbolt. The original tap dance. He was a thunderbolt, 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 the original tap dancing key. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the best band in the land 
Ladies and gentlemen, Bing Crosby. Jill Cosby. Bing Crosby once introduced my next Bill guest. Bill Cosby. Bill Crosby. Bill Crosby once introduced my Cos next guest. Cos no, no, Bill Cos Cosby. As the next Billy Holiday. Chris. <laughs> He'd look funny in a dress. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah, go on. Chris Christopherson said that Maxine Weldon sings songs the way he has never heard them sung before. Right. What, what can you say? No. What can you say? But you can can't I say more. We all totally agree. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Maxine Weldon. So he told me that you're the one he's been searching for. And he told you He'd never met anyone like you before And I can hear him telling you Your lips taste just like cherry wine Did he tell you that he's known It's Johnny one time Introduced John Kay, formerly of uh, Steppenwolf, and now we would like to reintroduce John Kay formally. So here's a, a here's a formal introduction to John Kay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, John Kay. Tennessee wine running around my head. Moonshine, friend of mine, help me to find my bed. I said I'd never do the town again, but here I go. I'm painting it red. Forgetting all the easy words I 
What exactly is that when you did the solo? Uh, There's a lot of speculation on the part of the audience usually, you know. Some think I blow into it, some think it's a, a pipe of some sort. Mm -hmm. But actually what it is is a, um, similar to a speaker coil, it's the, the back part of a PA horn, a driver. And it takes the signal from the guitar and bypasses mm -hmm. the speakers and the amplifier and instead goes into my mouth like mm -hmm. this. Wait a minute, like this. There you go. It makes my teeth buzz. But anyway, it goes from my mouth into the, into the microphone and it mm -hmm. works almost like a wobble pedal. If ever you got rain in your heart, someone has hurt you and torn you apart. Am I unwise to open up your eyes to love me? Let it be like they said it could be Me loving you, girl, and you loving me Am I unwise to open up your eyes to love me? beside you and no one to hold Am I unwise to open up your eyes to love me And when you got nothing to lose Nothing to pay for and nothing to choose Am I unwise to open up your eyes to love me. Run to me whenever you're lonely. To love me. Run to me if you need a shoulder. Now and then you need someone older. So don't.
take a tear and make it disappear with the wave of my hand. And if your heart is broken apart, I can put it together again. If you're sick with the misery, you can always count on me, Mr. Man. Yeah. I can take a frown and turn it upside down and make it a smile. Don't you know I can turn it around? Ease your pain a while. Yeah. When I appear in a puff of smoke, all your trouble will become a joke. But Mr. Magic, Magic. Zip Kazam Hell of a zip Kazam Show sure enough got you down, baby I'm spreading my spells around Next guests are currently the funniest bunch of lads to come along in quite a while. They call themselves, wait for it, they call themselves the Mule Deer and Moon Dog Medicine Show. The what? The Mule Deer and Moon Dog <laughs> Medicine Show. <laughs> the what? The Mule Deer and Moon Dog Medicine Show. <laughs> people realize how rough it was a long time ago for the cowboys because the main function of a cowboy was to go on a cattle drive and at nights the cowboys would soothe the cattle by singing them cowboy songs cowboys would ride around with their legs hooked over the saddle horn rolling smokes and singing to the cows which looked pretty dumb trying to hold the cows up and sing to them at the same time anyway make a long story short in 1840 there weren't any cowboy songs yet and the cowboys didn't have any ways to soothe the cows at night so they devised a method of sending two scouts ahead of the herd. When they would find a watering hole, they would fill it full of powdered airplane glue, crushed up sleeping pills, 
and those strange plants you grow in your closet with a light bulb. Yeah. And then the cowboys would disguise themselves in leaves, branches, and tumbleweeds, and they would hang around the watering hole waiting for the unwary cattle to approach. That night, about midnight, the cows would come up and begin drinking. And the cowboys would jump out in their disguises of leaves, branches, and tumbleweeds and poke the cows in the backs with pitchforks. And the cows would go, and they'd be all right for several days. This, this was known as cow punching or cow poking. And after a hard eight hours of cow punching, the cowboys would fall exhausted to the edges of the watering hole, not even bothering to take off their disguises of leaves, branches, and tumbleweeds, and would wake up in the morning really hating coyotes. Also, other things plague, just let it out, it doesn't get any better. Also, other things made the cowboys a lot of trouble on the range. One thing were little organisms that would get up under their sleeping bags and under their shirts and in their hair, and they'd start to dig an itch. And no matter how many times the cowboys would scrub and change their sheets, little organisms just kept multiplying, and it drove the cowboys crazy until one day they devised a method of getting rid of all the organisms. They would go into the movie theaters in Dodge City and Abilene, and they'd buy a bag of popcorn and go down and sit in the front row of the movie theater and take the popcorn and stuff it up under their clothes. The little organisms would eat it all, get up to go get a drink of water, and the cowboys would split. <laughs> this is... Try it sometime. We'll get back to this thrill pack show in a minute, but first, a word from Moondog Flanagan in Baltimore, Maryland. We switch you to Brinkley Severide in Washington, D.C. Good evening, this is BS in Washington. This portion of the news brought to you by Watergate Waterbeds. Guaranteed not to spring a leak unless under extreme pressure from the top. We'll have details. <laughs> details at 9.15. Also, surprise marriage of Toadie Fields to Truman Capote today has left a very happy Toadie Capote. Well, <laughs> and now, back in history. Let's go back to 1899. Kitty Hawk, Wilbur, and Orville Wright. About ready to go? Yep. All right, as soon as the sun comes up, we'll take off. Wow, that was quick. Wow. <laughs> Three of them. Four. Five of them. Not bad. Well, no wonder the old man gets up so early. Do you feel that rush shoot through you? Not bad. Ready to go? Give a little kerosene. Pull out the choke. Contact. Contact. This stupid thing's never gonna work. I'm sick of coming down here. Come on, Wilbur, kick it over harder. Yeah, I'll kick the whole thing over on its side in a minute. The neighbors are already starting to say you're apathetic. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't care. Ready? All right. Give it a little more kerosene. Pull out the choke. Up an octave. Add a fifth. Uh, here we go. All right. Contact. Contact. This time. It's gonna work. It is gonna it's work. It's gonna work! All right, what do you want first? Potatoes! Where do you want them? In the prop! All right. Isn't that amazing? Thousands of french fries this quickly wow, and easily? things are perfect size. Try the cabbage! <laughs> Mounds of coleslaw in just minutes. Slices, dices, juliennes. Look at the ripple cut on these carrots. This is a great invention. We'll cut these down and sell them at Walgreens at Christmas. Good idea, huh? <laughs> Going fishing? Yep. Got worms? Yep, but I'm going anyway. Thank you. No one else. Thank you. I've got a better idea. And now, let's take a look at another exciting scene from double Oscar nominee, The Poseidon Adventure. Good audience, thank you. If you enjoyed us tonight with Neil Deere and Moondog Medicine Show, if you didn't, we were the Johnny Man Singers. <laughs> okay, now before we continue the show, we, we want to remind all of you that your, your host next week will be the great Paul Williams. Oh. Thank you. Fantastic. And joining Paul will be Chris Christopherson.
Also, oh. Oh. Uh, uh, take it. In... <coughs> oh. <laughs> Rita Coolidge. Rita Coolidge will be on next week as well. Yeah. Hi. Um... <laughs> Not forgetting the Electric Light Orchestra. You got them next week too. Yay! And King Harvest, Brewer and Shipley. <laughs> and Commander Cody and his lost planet, Airmen. Oh, I'd like to see. Hi, In the morning, when the moon is at its rest, you will find me at the time I love the best. Watching rainbows play on sunlight, pools of water iced from cold nights in the morning. Tis the morning of my life. In the daytime. I will meet you as before You will find me Waiting by the ocean floor Building castles In the shifting sands In a world That no one understands In the morning Is the morning of my life Tis the morning of my life In the morning yeah. In the morning Such a holiday It's something I think's worthwhile If the puppet makes you smile If not, then you're throwing stones Throwing stones Throwing stones Oh, it's a funny game don't believe that it's all the same Can't think what I've just said Put the soft pillow on my head If millions of eyes can see Yet why am I so blind when that someone else is me It's unkind It's unkind Dee 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 Let there be love. Oh, I can be love in Paradise Avenue. Let there be light so everyone is still alive. 
let it happen to me and you. I am a man, so take me for what I am. I'll never have everything, but let there be love. Let there be love. Let there be
midnight stars are shining on my shoes shine telling me the things I'm gonna be now the hurts all gone I pushed them all behind me and the world Someone, or someone, and I would be respected in the prime of my life. I'll do everything right, I'll begin. Wouldn't I be something or something? Before we say goodbye, we, we really want to thank all the fantastic guests. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you're marvelous. And it was a real thrill hosting a midnight special again. It was really fantastic. That's right. Thank you you've, for been a, us here. you've been a really great audience, and we hope the host is. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling music, please. <laughs>